Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here this Tuesday morning. We'll get started with our weather brought to us by Haney Technical Center at 767-5500. Run by and check those folks out and uh, make that one of your New Year's resolutions and get started in some classes over there. Now, the weather, we're finally getting some of that cool weather. In fact, tonight, today's high is only going to be in the high part of the 50s, like 58 or 59, and we're looking at a low of 44. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some of this cool weather. It, it's just been too warm for me for this winter weather. Water temperature now has dropped another degree, dropped down to 68 degrees, and the river readings, that price go to Blunstown, it stays at a point four. it's been at a point four for literally almost a year. Now let's look at the Choctahatchee and Choctahatchee wants to join a little bit because it is flat line. It stayed, and Choctahatchee has been at two foot for a long time. Every now and then it bounce off maybe a day or two, but it's right at, at two foot. Now the tides, we're, we're looking at a, this past weekend, we didn't have the very strong tides, but now we're looking at a, coming up this coming weekend, uh, today will be December the 11th, and we're looking at, we got good strong tides, but looking on for the weekend, we have some of the strongest tides of the month now. We're going into this new moon, and we're going to have some really strong tides Friday, as actually the rest of this week. But now this morning, our low tide is at 249, and our high tide is at 701 tonight. So we've got a strong incoming tide. It'll be some good, really would be some good afternoon fishing if you get off work a little bit early or you can get out and the wind's not blowing and it's got cool weather coming in. It's going to be an excellent week of fishing, an excellent week of speckled trout fishing, I feel like. Uh, toward the end of the week, really strong incoming tides, and also those redfish. Now, plus, I've had, I got a good report this weekend from some kings out at the pier. So, uh, some folks uh, called a couple of kings coming in, uh, which is sort of unusual in December, but, uh, you know, with this weather like it is, it's, it's not all that unusual. All right, uh, that takes care of our weather. Let's go ahead and take our first break, and we'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. Glad you're with us this morning. We're going to start off looking at our website now. You know, we'll put this website together when we started started a while back and, and wanted to just uh, just let, inform people about the show. And I, uh, a little while ago, decided to start putting a famous Friday fishing forecast on the show. And my goal was to uh, was to get 40,000 views or 40,000 hits. And, and folks, this past weekend, uh, I want you to check out this number. Let's look at the website first. Uh, all you do is just type in Panhandle Outdoors and and uh, you can see sort of just set up, it just tells about, welcome to Panhandle Outdoors, and just sort of tells about, and it has that one picture. I, I had a lot of pictures put in, but I'm, I'm real proud of that picture there. So that's that King Michael tournament we won. We, I, I've told you the story several times and may tell us some more. But look at that bottom left-hand corner, 40,133 hits. And uh, we're just tickled and excited and, and very blessed to have that, and we were very thankful. Now, if you want to look at a couple things on here, too, I, uh, I did a, if you're interested in how to throw a cast net, uh, this is just a basic picture of how to hold a cast net. I did this off my dock. It's real simple, but if you and I wrote out the directions how to do this, exactly how I teach my students how to do it, and we've taught, I don't know, four or 5,000 kids how to throw a cast net. Put it over the shoulder there. And, and then stick out your right leg. And then, you know, put half the net over there. Open, open the hand up. See how my hand's open up right there? Now, I, I may, during Christmas break, do a video on showing you how to do it and all. But that's basically, uh, that's basically it there. So, uh, now, what we uh, also, uh, I'm going to show you one more thing on it, too. Also, uh, uh, on the fishing report, I I'll show you the fishing report. On the fishing report, what we do, we just, uh, I'll enlarge it, I cover the areas. I, I, what I do on, on, on a Friday morning, we just sort of copied and put it in here in case you missed Friday morning. Carabelle, Apalachicola, Mexico Beach, Panama City. And then the major feeding times for the whole week, whatever you want to know for the week. So uh, fish early, fish late, enjoy the great outdoors, especially Panhandle Outdoors. So we really enjoy putting that website together for you and we've got all kind of exciting things coming up about it. Speaking of, speaking of exciting things now, you know, I mentioned this the other day. Uh, we, we have, a, I think, we've laid a good foundation in Panhandle Outdoors on, on having a good outdoor TV show for, for local television, and we're very proud of it. 
And I mentioned the other day, I feel like 2013 is going to be our, our best year ever. I just, I just have this gut level feeling. I just feel really good and strong about it. It reminded me of the days when I was coaching and I was going into the season, I, either basketball, football, whatever sport I was coaching. A lot of times I just got a good feeling about a team. Not necessarily that they were super athletes or anything, but they, a lot of times just had that right chemistry. I knew we were going to have a good season. And we, when I had that feeling, we always end up having a really good season. And I, and I, I've just had that feeling this year about our show. And uh, it's a combination of things. I think we sort of matured uh, as a TV show. We have a lot of people viewing now and getting a lot of feedback and just have a great foundation. And 2013 is just going to be exciting. We're going to start the year off. I'm going ahead and give you the news this morning. We're going to start the year off, and, and we're very excited about this too. Panhandle Outdoors will be having an intern for our show. Now, this is really neat. This young man from Auburn University, John Rush, uh, contacted me by email a, a little while back and, and introduced himself and talked about a, and wanted to know if I'd be interested in having an intern. And so I, you know, I inquired, you know, a little bit about him, you know, where he's from, and uh, we so we started uh, emailing back and forth. And he told, I told him to send me his resume and uh, gave me his background. John is a senior at Auburn University, and he's in the College of Agriculture. And, it's, and uh, that's a huge college up there, and they have different segments under. One of the segments is the Communication Department of Agriculture, you know, which is a big deal. And he ran across Panda Outdoors on the internet and, and just started looking at it, said he was just crazy about it, and started watching it on YouTube, and uh, he just wanted to know if he could intern for me. And he talked to his college counselors and, and his professors, and they thought it was a great idea. So uh, during Thanksgiving holidays, he and his mom uh, uh, came down here and we, we had lunch and met and a uh, nice young man, good family. His, his granddad went to Ar Auburn, his parents went to Auburn, so he had to go to Auburn too, but he's from Savannah, Georgia. Anyway, he's going to be interning with us, doing all kinds of different things and uh, doing some doing some shows for us that maybe, you know, with me working Monday through Friday, sometimes I can't get to different events and all, and John's going to be able to cover those and he's going to work on the uh, website, all kinds of different things, just give him some experience in in, uh, in this uh, show and all. So we're looking, really looking forward to that. So, uh, and he's going to be coming in. He'll be here from January through April. So he's going to be here helping out, and I think you'll really enjoy. Hopefully, you get to meet a lot of you viewers. Okay, so that's another reason I just have a good feeling about 2013. So uh, let's take this break, and we'll come back. I got a good video for you. Okay, welcome back. In case uh, you're not sure, you know, Deer Point Lake's having a drawdown now. I have some, a lot of friends who live up there around the lake, and I got a picture last night. Matt Mullen's wife, Eva, woke up uh, uh, Sunday morning and saw this in their backyard. Check this out. Uh, you can see the drawdown, how the drawdown's coming into effect at Deer Point Lake. This old gator had been, uh, he and neighbors, he said he thought the gator might have been sick. He just didn't want to move. He's probably just uh, it's full from eating all the fish up in that drawdown, but uh that's, be aware of that now at Deer Point Lake. You know, a lot of gators are showing up. And thanks, Eva. Eva had a good video where the tail moved and she screamed and all. But that was on, uh, I don't want to make YouTube, Eva. That was a good job. Now, listen, uh, we're going, you know, outdoors, we have a legacy of, of doing things for other people and helping people out. We're here in the Panhandle especially. Of course, nationwide and all we do it. But here in the Panhandle, our outdoors are always doing stuff, helping people out. And, uh, and this past weekend was no exception. Our bass fishermen, uh, did did a little bass tournament for uh, toys for tots for, for our young people here in our community and all. And I was just so pleased. Now, I was up in the woods and I could not get out to go cover the weigh-in. So uh, my, my son my son stepped up to play Chip and his wife Jill. They're they're good for actually they're better than I am at photography and all. So I called him up and said, Hey, can you run over and cover that weigh-in and at, at, uh, and just talk to him a few minutes and uh, at, and and see what all was going on and and Alan Courtney was up there and all and. And I, I felt really strong about it, since they're doing such a good deed and all about go ahead and covering it, letting everybody see it. And, and again, it continues the legacy of outdoorsmen just helping people out, you know, weekend after weekend doing different things and also uh, I guess I'll call this a chip and jill production of the uh, of our bass, bass guys fishing and doing this tournament up there. So uh, let's run about a high point landing at Deer Point Lake. Deer Point Lake, we had uh, 
we got a local club here, the Southern Bass Anglers. It's a new club in Panama City. And we decided to put on a fundraising tournament for the local Toys for Tots. So uh, we had a $50 entry fee, and every boat had to bring at least a minimum $25 toy unwrapped. So uh, we had 21 boats, so that's 21 good toys. We just uh, counted up the money we made so far without having more raffle tickets this afternoon, about $650 on top of the toys this morning. So uh, y'all just hang around a little bit, and we'll, we'll show you what fish we caught. Places. And like I say, we raised what, over 700 bucks? Yeah, it's toys more, for probably close to eight. Yeah, well, give yourself a big hand, guys. That's good, plus all the toys this morning. Daddy, can I go check it? Uh, not right now. Thank the Southern Bass. 9.25, <coughs> Rob Longhorn, and who is that? Gary Weeks. Gary Weeks. Mm -hmm. Are they throwing these in the trash? Yeah, yeah it's money to drive back home. Daddy, can I give the money for <laughs> Fourth place, Mike Batiski and Drew Bent with 9.50. 60 bucks. I don't remember half of the money went to Right here, Mr. Mike, right here. Mr. Mike in the camera shirt. All right, third place, Bobby Smith with a total weight of 11.23 pounds. $80. Thank you. Second place, Ray Rains and Doug Cook with a weight of 11.64 pounds, $130. Thank you. 
They don't want it. They don't donate it back. All right, first place. <laughs> Gus Peace and Kevin Toller with a weight of 14.60 pounds. All right. $235. All right, second lunker, Ray Raines, 2.97 pounds. It's going to be, what was it, 80 bucks. Is that what you're going to Yeah, mine was 2.91. Right here. 2.93. All right, first place lunker was Gus Peace and Kevin Toller, 3.47 pounds, $120. I'm Kevin Toller. This is Gus Peace. Uh, we were fishing the first annual uh, Toys for Tots charity tournament for our new bass club. Uh, we had a great day today. We ended up uh, catching fish for the most part all day. Um, got very fortunate. Got a couple fish in the net that ended up getting off in the net. But they were already in there. Um, had some unusual things happen today, but it was a lot of fun. Great day on the water. Couldn't ask for a better day. Awesome. For a good cause, too. We appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Four, six, zero, two, two, six. Ray Ray. Anybody? Here it is. Yeah, everybody listen up. Eight, seven, eight, one, four, four. Brian Behe, uh, fishing a Toys for Toss tournament today. Uh, we had a 50 50 and uh, prize uh, raffle. I uh, ended up walking away with a couple prizes and uh, we raised about $800 for the uh, kids this, this year. So, uh, and I think we got about 30 or 40 presents today and uh, so that's that's what it's all about and uh, next year we hope hope we have a uh, even bigger turnout so uh, come on out and join us next year all right well, well we're through with the weigh-in today and it was it was successful we raised uh, I think it was eight hundred and thirty five dollars in cash for toys for tots and then this morning uh, each each boat had to bring a, a new twenty five dollar unwrapped toy so that was well over five hundred dollars worth so pushing about fourteen hundred dollars total for the toys for tots so that, that was pretty successful we're proud we did that so hope you guys enjoyed the show thanks all right. Hi, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. Well over $1,000 raised by the Southern Bassmasters, uh, and I just really appreciate those guys doing that. Now, uh, let's take a look at our uh, fishing game forecast for today, our times. We're looking at 9.55 to 11.55, about from 10 to 12 this morning. And then tonight from 10.26 to 12.26. So that, that's our two times for, for today. Now, uh, one of the things, I, I, I get all kind of uh, reports and all. One, uh, one of uh, uh, my, my fellow ushers at church were talking about, they've been out Saturday and just saw all kind of dolphin activity. And this guy, you know, he knows his outdoor stuff. He, he's not a big hunter, but he knows a lot about the water and all. And, and he said the, the dolphins up in West Bay were just, you know, carrying on and just going all kind of stuff. And he got he and his party got closer and all, and while the dolphins were doing, folks, they were mating. They were actually mating because splashing around and all that. And this guy's almost, uh, you know, got up close enough to see that you know that all kind of dolphins were jumping and all. And you know, dolphins they'll mate 12 months a year, so uh, and it's nothing uh, unusual. But they don't have a season like you know like uh, mullet and, and a lot of fish do and all, where they just migrate in and out. But they'll they'll uh, mate 12 months a year. And, and uh, that's the situation, especially, you know, here it is December and the weather's still warm and all, and uh, that was the activity going on. Now, some other reports from the weekend, uh, the duck hunters, I talked to the duck hunters, uh, they did fair. It's funny, I, I woke up, I always gauge it by my Saturday morning listening to the gunshots up at Deer Point Lake, and I, I was in a different part of the house, and I didn't hear that many gunshots, and my wife said, did you hear all the gunshots? She was in another part of the house, so that's how two different people can, can actually dictate uh, as, as to what's, what's going on, but it was fair. Uh, it was not, uh, you know, from you know, one to ten, it'd probably be around a five to the guys I talked to. Also, a shell cracker bite this past weekend. Shell cracker bite around Wimico and, and River System down there was excellent. Okay, it was excellent. I saw the pictures on on Facebook of uh, some of our viewers, and they had a had a good uh, weekend down there. Deer season opened up, as always. Deer season 
starts off slow. When uh, December, the first part of December, in fact, I, I honestly have gotten to the point where I just don't deer hunt uh, much in, during December. I wait for it to get colder and, you know, last week or two of, of December and most of January when I personally like to go deer hunting. But uh, I had one or two pictures sent, but not, and I'll show those to you later on, but not, not just an outstanding weekend on, on that. And then uh, let's see what else I was going to report on. Flounder. I went floundering Saturday night, didn't do very, I hate to admit it, but I didn't, didn't do very good at all. Uh, and I'm, I'm just experimenting and trying different things out and going to different places. So uh, I like to do that at times. Uh, so anyway, the floundering, uh, I think we're about on the tail end of the floundering. And uh, this past week, this past weekend was a good example of that. Okay, now, a couple other things. Uh, New Year's resolutions, uh, you know, not too early to start New Year's resolutions. Some people have, uh, I do it every year. I just think you can always do better. And, or uh, some people don't like the word resolution, it's too fancy for them, but so your goals for 2013, if you have some goals, especially pertaining to outdoors for 2013, if you want to send them to us and share them with us, we'll read them on the air and, and uh, uh, maybe help you achieve your goals if we can. But uh, so go, go ahead, and I, I've already put a couple, and I'll read yours, uh, read mine to you later on uh, in this month and all my New Year's resolutions for the outdoors for 2013. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. All right, now, uh, the tip of the day. I had a, a good tip of the day. I, I was talking to this guy, and he had a great idea. We're talking about the importance of sharp hooks, and I didn't bring a hook with him, but I just want to explain it to you. He said what, what his dad always taught him, but if you could take the hook and rub it across your fingernail and it would make a little scratch mark, it's sharp enough. Okay, because that's the most important thing in fishing, one of the top things is having a sharp hook. If you got the right bait and everything else, all that's not going to work if your hook's not sharp, especially if you're catching a lot of fish. So uh, one way to do it is just rub that, rub the tip of the, the uh, hook across your fingernail and it makes the scratches sharp enough. If it does not make a scratch, it's dull. Throw that hook away or either file it down and reuse it. So I thought it was an excellent tip of the day and a good way to check it and uh, it's not going to hurt your fingernail. So go ahead and... Uh, and use that next time. But always check your, your hooks and make sure they're sharp enough. All right? That's going to wrap it up for today, folks. I'm so glad you watched our show. We appreciate you watching. appreciate you supporting our sponsors. And you do something good for somebody today. God bless. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.